All right, today is the day. Like I stated in my teaser, I had a company reach out to me, wants me to test out their product. So today you get to see it out the box. And I was reached out by a company called AS Max. All right, so this is a double pack because one of these is mine, one of them is gliding on twos. He will be here shortly and he'll be doing a video on this also, but it's gonna look a little funny on his because one's already missing, so just kind of deal with it. They do have this package pretty nice. Got your little sleeve for your box. Then your box opens up and you got two units, actually in styrofoam. And then we have two parts boxes. And that would be all that's in this particular one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, this one will be mine, and I'm gonna sit this back in here for gliding. And we're just gonna get this out the way. Now, I already have my helmet stripped down from my Cardo. I had an older one and it was time for an upgrade. And it's just kind of dumb luck that AS Max hit me up. So, we're gonna open this box, pour out all the goodies in here. So, we got some stickers. a care bag which looks like it has wet wipes in it to clean the helmet to put your mount on you have two mics here a boom mic if you're running a half shell which i am not so i'm gonna set that to the side and we have a regular mic with a piece of velcro in there to mount that we have a clip so you can clip it on the helmet i'm actually going to sticky mine on so i don't need that one and this bag we actually have the mount and this bag we have speakers and in the speakers is also some Velcro and some spacer pads. So they also send this really nice charging cable, which I will get this thing charged up here in a little bit before we go to that next step. And so straight off the bat, there are some similarities that if you have a Cardo, which these are the JBLs, the bigger ones, these should work in that too. So if you end up having one of these units and you have a, you spent the extra money on the JBL speakers, technically you could go and put them in this, but to give this thing a true test, of what the average person will get right out the box, we're going to run the AS Max speakers, AS Max mic, and this stuff. All right, if you don't have one of those helmet donuts, just get you a towel, roll the sides. It'll pretty much keep your helmet straight up because you don't want to scratch your helmet and you definitely don't want to drop it. All right, so I have the Scorpion EXO uh, Carbon R1 Air. So I had to remove the Cardo. And since I did that, 
mine's already kind of taken apart as you can see which i have the whole curtain here so you will have to disassemble your helmet now i do currently have the velcro still in from the cardo in both spots well except for this spot because i'm gonna pull this one out So what we're going to do is we're going to get our care bag, rip that open, and we're going to clean where we're putting it at, and we're going to try to run over that spot right here, just because I had that there. Just because I had Velcro there already, get that adhesive off, clean this up real good, and then wipe it off. And then wipe the same off in here. All right, the speakers, the longer wire is gonna go on the opposite side. which these speakers drop right down into my pre-cut out slot pretty well. But I am going to try to, well, I guess it really ain't gonna matter. You need to set your wire where they're going in a little bit of easier direction like so and then this side here we're just going to do we'll cock it back let's see we'll go ahead and put it face down also now the speakers are installed. So all we got to do now is lift this little guy up right here. And we'll just go ahead and tuck this wire down in here like so. Now we're going to leave it empty because what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and have that plug right here. So it's not affecting my head whenever I ride. So clips in like that and this is actually I like this profile a whole lot better so what I'm going to do is put it about right here right off my L and my N so I'm going to pull this double sticky tape and line it back up that right there and then push down all right so now that's mounted now i can take my headphones plug them in push this wire in the crack of this foam right here so now that won't move so this wire here i'll just tuck down in there and leave a little bit out because when I put my my uh, curtain back in here it's going to push down on it and I don't want it to get hit or nicked <clears throat> so I gotta keep this one here out for right now this one I can go ahead and plug back up all right now I'm going to take this one plug into here so now that mic's connected so what I'm going to do with the mic is I like running mine off to the side not directly in front of my mouth so I'm going to put this guy about right here and then I'm going to just tuck it down in between the shell and the foam and 
try to tuck as much of this in here as I can. And then push this piece down in there too. And then just tuck my wires. Tuck my wires in if it will hold. just tuck your wires like this and I'm gonna get this other piece in and then I'll come back all right as you can see sometimes you may have to put a relief notch in the plastic because the plastic doesn't line up where you want it but you leave a little bit of slack there for your wires because you don't want to pinch them but it comes back it's clean it's nice and tight in there and Push back here, push to the rear, comes right off. As you can see, it lights up nice and blue, which, which you can change the colors of that in this app. So you do have to go and download the app where you have a little bit more settings to change the colors of this. So bear with me for a sec while I get this paired. All right, now that I'm connected, see it's doing little, little thing here. I'm gonna go through some of these. You can do headset music effect. Uh, volume adjust, notification sounds, phone sound. You can do auto answer, voice dial, uh, music, mesh intercom, personalized LED. So here's where you can hit personalized LED. And we'll go different colors here. And I think I'll stick with purple. All right, that's how you install and pair the AS Max F1, which is really nice and slick. I do like the looks of this better than the old one. Now, I got to go and do some learning on the app, figure out all my controls and all that. As soon as Gliding on Twos gets here, we get his installed. We're taking a trip up to the Hootenanny. And we're going to run these things the whole way up because what's good in having them if we ain't going to test them, know what I mean? So we're going in this section right here and go into the next one. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run down a AS Max's spec sheet on this. Uh, it's got the fancy LED light in it, which you can change the colors and change the frequency or just turn it off. Uh, I like it on. That's my preference. The, uh, it is IP67 waterproof, although I have not been in the rain with it yet because it's been dry up here and hot. Uh, the Bluetooth 5.3, it has a really, uh, I think it's more stable connectivity than what it was on my Pack Talk. Uh, magnetic mount. Magnetic mount's pretty easy. You just push this tab back here and slide it back and it comes off and put it on just throw it on there and it's there. Uh, it also has a knock function that you can hit and make it do things which I haven't really played too much with that except to do uh, try to get it to connect to other ones. Um, the voice commands. I love the voice commands because the cardo, you would be singing along with a song in a groove, and next thing you know, it's doing a command list where it's running through every single thing that it does. This one here, unless you say hi max, it's gonna do nothing. Once you say hi max and tell it what to do, then it'll do it, which I really like that. Uh, the mesh connection. They say it'll go up to 1.9 miles with 10 riders. Now, I cannot check that because I don't have an, 
a box of these did not fall off of the truck in front of my house because if it had everybody on that group I would have had them on their helmets and we'd have been testing that so I don't know if I will be able to test that so the 1.9 miles I really can't confirm that one because I was in the hills of West Virginia with gliding on twos both of us connected and we got maybe half a mile to three quarters of a mile and it separated it just dropped the call or not the call i dropped the mesh and the cool thing about it was though even though it dropped the mesh as soon as you got back in range it automatically reconnected um, we tested this both ways we turn them off at stops turn them back on automatic connection i left mine on several times he had his off turned it back on automatic reconnection All right, everyone, here's my personal opinions about the AS Max F1. Installation, super easy. Speakers, I'm hard of hearing from the military working with jet engines for my career, and I could hear everything pretty well in there. But to be fair, I did have the volume maxed out in the app and on my phone. And I didn't hear any distortion in the speakers either. And I think coming off the Cardo with the JBLs, these, these are just as good, if not better than the JBLs, in my personal opinion. Microphone with phone calls, Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, and mesh with another AS Max unit. You couldn't hear the background noise, <clears throat> like wind noise, uh, dogs barking, none of that. Um, maybe just a little bit exhaust if you have a loud bike like I do or louder than I do you may hear it Instagram messenger here's a tip if you're going to use it call out with the actual phone call button and then once they answer turn your video on it's a stable connection and they will be able to hear you uh every my other one it did the same thing if you hit the call button it would immediately drop and they would see you and not hear you but if you hit the call button first and then turn the video on after they answer they will be able to hear you it kind of tricks it into it being a actual phone call instead of video facebook messenger didn't have to worry about that never had that problem with face price point single units 149.99 the two pack is 279.99 and I looked it up on their store on Instagram. They do have a standalone speaker and microphone pack and a standalone base plate pack. And both of those would probably, I think they'll run you about 80, 90 bucks. If you want to go that route for getting a new helmet after you have one, you can, or just buy the two pack. There'll be a little bit more on the two pack here in a minute. Do I think AS Max is a viable comm unit? Yes, they. It's this. The connection's been stable. I've had hadn't had anything drop. The only time that we lost connection was in West Virginia, and we got about half a mile to three quarters of a mile apart and lost it. But that's a lot because of the terrain. Because if you've ever been to West Virginia and rode those roads, they have no straight roads there at all. A lot and a lot of turns that go up and down, left and right. So if we had had more people with the AS Maxes in there or was able to connect them to other ones, it probably would have kept a connection. Now, speaking of the other two, I put that on me, AS Max. I have contacted them. We have chatted about it. I've watched the videos. I've watched videos on the Cardos trying to get them. I just could not figure it out for the life of me how to get it to connect. But I also had that same problem with the Cardo. So that is a user error. And I know I'm not doing something right and I put that on me. So don't hold that against AS Max. That's me. Now, motorcycle parts ain't cheap. So making a bad purchase can set you back. And I do not think this is a bad purchase. As a matter of fact, when the girlfriend gets better, we get her new helmet, a full face. I'm buying another two pack so she can have hers and then I'll have a spare if I want to get another helmet and just run two separate helmets to kind of, you know, 
get the longevity out of them, I can. Now, at this point, I would like to thank AS Max for actually reaching out and giving me the opportunity to test this product. I, I was actually coming into this like, eh, but they actually blew me away with the quality of the product and how it operates. I do believe it's a viable option for every, I actually think everybody should be running these. They're super duper easy to use, super easy to connect to everything. I know there are people that are certain brand oriented. I was that way until I got this one and I gotta say I'm extremely happy with it. So thank you AS Max for allowing me to test this for everybody watching. Everybody watching, please go over to Instagram, find AS Max there, follow them, go over to their YouTube channel, subscribe there. And while you're at it, run over to Gliding on Twos. He'll be doing a video eventually. I don't know when that'll be out from him, but there will be one out for him. So you get to see what he says about it also. And before you leave, go and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, give me a thumbs up, and please, please leave me a comment. I love getting the comments, and I will get back to you with an answer, whether I have to go through AS Max or look it up myself or already know the answer. I will get back with you pretty quick. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.